really are going. Daddy said we would leave tomorrow morning. Really? He promised us he would take us with him. I can't wait. We're going to be gone three whole days, and I bet we'll see a lot of neat stuff. Yeah, bedtime. Oh, I got to go. I'll talk to you when I get back. Well, it looks like you have a beautiful day to begin your trip. Yes, we do. Boy, and I'm glad, because we got a full day ahead. Is it time to go yet? Aren't there waiting? Uh, not quite. Tim hasn't finished his milk yet. Oh. Yes, I have. Oh. See? Well, I guess I'm ready to go. Me too! Yeah, let's go! Bye-bye, have a good time. Bye, Mom. Bye. Now, Tim, help your daddy keep an eye on April. Be a good boy and have lots of fun. Okay. Bye, Mom. We'll see you in a few days. Okay, be careful and have a safe trip. And don't forget to bring me the sweet potatoes. Okay. okay. Bye, Mom. Bye-bye. Let's go. made it on time. Yeah, we did. Bob, how you doing? Who you got with you this time? These are my children. This is Tim. Tim, this is Mr. Watkins. How are you, Tim? Good. And this is April. Hello, April. How are you? Fine. Can I see the baby pigs now? Sounds like your daddy's told you something about this place. Daddy said that you have a whole bunch of pigs and that some are even bigger than me. I have a bunch of pigs and some of them are bigger than you are. You want to go see them now? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. These are the baby pigs. Would you like to hold one? Will it bite me? No, he won't bite you. Can I hold one too? You sure can. Now these are the baby pigs. This is their mother. They get milk from mother. And the mother is called a sow. These are my pigs now. They're grown. They're hogs. And it takes a lot of meat to feed all the people. I bet you didn't know bacon comes from hogs. Bacon? Yes, and ham too. Wow. Okay, kids, let's go. We got a load of hogs to get to the market. Do we have to? Yes, we do. Where are we going now, Daddy? We're going to see Mr. Smith, and here we are. Hey, Lonnie. Hey, Bill, how you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? Hey, nice to see you. Good seeing you. See, you brought two little buddies with you yes, today. Yes, I did. This is my son, Tim, my daughter, April. Tim, April, how you doing? Good. What brings you all here? Well, I brought them on the road with me a couple of days. Thought I'd show them something about agriculture in North Carolina. Well, that's a good idea. So you brought them here so we can show you how we sell tobacco. Yeah, that's what I figured. You know, we could show them how it's sold. And April, what is it? What's tobacco? What's tobacco? Look, I can tell you all about tobacco. I'll show you. Come here. Now, see, this is what tobacco looks like in the field. It's a plant that grows taller than you and has big green leaves. See, when it turns yellow like this, the farmer picks it and he brings it here to the warehouse where the auctioneer sells it for the farmer and that's how they make their money. And it sounds kind of funny when they sell it. Lonnie, do you think you might could show the kids how tobacco's sold? Sure, you know, I believe there's a sale going on right about now. How would you guys like to see that? Yeah! All right. Let's go. Let's go, kids. 80 Brown. 87, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87, I didn't understand a word he said. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, we gotta stay in a hotel. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
kids. How's your breakfast? Mine tastes good. My bacon tastes great. Good. Well, your bacon comes from hogs, and so does April's sausage and my ham. You see, North Carolina farmers are really important to us because they raise a lot of the food we eat. They raise the hogs and the cows that make the milk that April's drinking, and the chickens that laid your eggs. How can a cow make milk? Well, today you're going to find out because we're going to a dairy farm, and we're also going to a chicken farm to see the chickens that laid the eggs. Yay! We'll be coming to see the cows when we come. We'll be coming to see the cows. We'll be coming to see the cows. We'll be coming to see the cows when we come. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Look, Daddy, there's some cows. Yeah, those are Mr. Braswell's cows. There he is up by the calf barn. Come on, let's go see him. Hello, Elton. Hey, came, Bill. Came by to pick up the milk. Brought my kids with me. This is Tim and April. Good to see y'all. Would you like to feed the cow? Yes, you can. Looks like he's pretty hungry. Well, kids, your dad told me y'all were coming today. Can I see your cows make the milk now? Well, you can't actually see them make it. But come on, I'll show you where we get it. These are the milking machines. We put them on the cow's udder to get the milk. Do the machines hurt the cows? Oh no, they enjoy it. They come in night and morning to be milked by themselves. What do the cows eat? We feed them corn. Come on, I'll show you. This is corn. Can you eat it? You sure can. Do you eat popcorn or cornflakes? Popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah. Well, we, we plant a lot of these seeds and grow a lot of corn. Yeah. See how tall it gets? Uh, twice as tall. Way up there, Tim. When it's ready, Tim takes the tractor and he cuts it into small pieces. The cows really like it and it makes them strong and healthy. After the cows are milked, we pump it in this big tanker truck. Then your daddy takes it to the milk plant. They process it and put it in the milk cartons. Then they send it to the grocery store. Then you get to drink it after that. Right. We'll be coming to get the eggs when we come. We'll be coming to get the eggs when we come. We'll be coming to get the eggs. Look, Daddy, it's snowed over there. <laughs> Oh, honey, that's not snow. That's Mr. Kelly's cotton. He also owns the chickens that lay the eggs. Hello, Stan. How you doing? Hey, Phil. How are you? It's fine. These are my kids, Tim and April. They want to see your chickens. Well, sure. Come on in the chicken Come house. Kids. All right. The girl chickens are called hens. The boy chickens are called roosters. I make sure that they have plenty to eat and drink and that they stay healthy. Daddy said that these are the chickens that lay the eggs that we eat for breakfast. That's right, they do. The hens sit in these nests and lay the eggs. Now, we gather the eggs every day, and some of them go to the grocery store where your mom buys them for you to eat. And some of the eggs are used to hatch baby chicks, just like these. Hey, how about Be real that? careful. They're very tender. They They're cute? only a couple days old. You know, Stan, on our way in, April saw one of your cotton fields and thought it had snowed. Would it be okay if we stopped on our way out to take a closer look? Well, sure, go ahead. And you can even pick some to take home if you like. Okay, thanks, Stan. Now, this white stuff is cotton, the way it grows in the fields. And both of you see cotton every day. But it doesn't look like this. In fact, Tim's wearing some cotton right now. I am. Where? The shirt is made of cotton. Mm. A lot of the clothes we wear are made from cotton. Some of the dresses that April has, they're made from cotton. My undershirt's made from cotton. You know, it takes a lot of cotton to make the clothes for everyone. That's why it's grown in these great big fields. Wow. Yeah. What do you say we pick some to take it home and show yeah. mom? All right. Pick that one here. Farmer Kelly has a farm. Yeah, Nick, Nick. 
there, here a chick there, and then everywhere a chick king. <laughs> oh. So kids, what have we learned so far? I learned that my shirt is made out of cotton and that bacon comes from hogs. That's good. Good too. But well, what about the farmers? There are many different kinds of farmers, but they're all important because they help grow the foods that we eat and the products that we use. That's good. I like the baby pigs don't fly. <laughs> there you did. That's good too. Well, tomorrow we're going to see how an apple farmer grows apples. Then we're going to the farmer's market. But now let's go back to the hotel and get some dinner because I'm hungry. We'll be coming to eat dinner. Apples grow on apple trees, and when the apples are ripe, we pick them and sell them. You know anything that's made from apples? Oh, yeah. My mama makes apple pie. That's real good. Can you think of anything else? How about applesauce? That's good, too. And I'll show you something else that's made from apples that we make right here on the farm. This is where we make apple cider. We put the apples in here, then the press mashes them, and the juice runs out through this pipe over to this tank. The apple juice is called apple cider and it's really good to drink. Let me get you some. Here, try some. Isn't that good? Yeah. Bob, see you next year. Thanks for showing the kids around. Hello, how are you doing? Fine, how about you? Just fine. Good, good, good. We need to buy some sweet potatoes. You've come to the right place. They don't get any better than these. All right. These look like roots. Interesting you should say that. Sweet potatoes are like roots. They grow underground on the bottom of a potato plant. You know, when I harvest these, I have to dig them up just like a root. You know that? Mm. Well, we're going to need about five pounds. Five pounds coming up. Yeah. You know, they may look like roots, but when Mom makes sweet potato pie, they look mighty good. And they taste good, too. Yeah. We'll be coming home to Mama when we come. We'll be coming home to Mama when we come. We'll be coming home to Mama. We'll be coming home to Mama. We'll be coming home. 